Hello, this is Brian and I'm very happy to present to you our game called Solipsism for the Innovation Awards of 2013. The team behind this project was Xavier as texture artist, Gaetan as 3D modeler, Thibaut as environment artist and myself as programmer. In this presentation I will give you the pitch of our game along with the attributes, I'm going to tell the story of our game, then I'm going to show you the demo, I'm going to tell a bit more about the art and gameplay and the master plan regarding the problems and solutions and challenges and opportunities we faced during the making of this game. So first, what is solipsism? In solipsism you take control of a robot conditioned with a solipsism disease and you need to make use of your environment to escape your creator's factory. Solipsism basically is a mental illness where you think you are the only real person in the world and everyone else is just a fiction of your imagination. Now the attributes of our game is for now it's a single player. It's targeted for PC but it can be extended to various other platforms such as phone or tablet, even consoles. It's a side-scroller platformer game and our target audience is teenagers and young adolescents but it's suitable for any age category. And the unique selling point of our game is that it's a skill-based puzzle game which takes place in both 2D and 3D. Uh, the story of our game is you play a robot who has a solipsism disease and you wake up in a factory and you need to escape it. And to do this you can manipulate reality by switching between 2D and 3D by creating a temporary copy of yourself and recording your actions to play, to play it back and to solve puzzles. We'll go right ahead into the game and I'll show you how it works. Hello, this is Brian from Team Solipsism and I'm happy to present you the latest version of our game called Solipsism. As you can see here, we've supported our game for 11 different languages. I'm gonna take English for now. Um, I can also continue the game or start a new one. I'm gonna start a new one or I can adjust the options. I can set the video options again, the audio options. And I can also set the keyboard to work with an Azerty keyboard. But I'll go right ahead and start the game. As you can see, uh, for now we can just walk around, can't jump yet, but once we receive our first upgrade, our character is now able to jump. Okay, so we can jump over this box, and now the other robot is telling us that we should take into consideration that the red boxes are in the back, the green boxes are in the middle, the blue boxes are always in the front. I just picked up a checkpoint. Okay, so far everything is going good. And now I've received my second upgrade, which allows me to switch dimensions from 3D to 2D and vice versa by using the mouse, by left clicking. So, as you can see, I cannot jump on the red box because it's in the background, but if I click the left mouse button, it changes. So now I can run to the green one, since it's always in the middle, switch back and jump to the next one. Here it's the same story, I cannot jump two blocks high, but I can switch to 2D, jump on the red one and then get on the green one. Here I will need to switch dimension mid-air so I can jump and switch. Here is the same thing, so I need to jump and switch. And I need to make sure I don't kill my character by switching too soon, else I can respawn from a respawn point. So for example here if I don't jump fast enough, I will fall into the lava and I can respawn. And if I switch too soon, oh, I will be crushed by a dimensional block. So timing is really key here. Okay, I made it. I didn't jump high enough. Okay, we've reached the end of the first level. We can now enter the second level. So here I can use the abilities I gained from the first level. 
And there I see an upgrade platform. So if I jump onto here, uh, I can now record my actions by pressing the right mouse button. And I can stop recording by pressing that button again. Okay, so uh, as you can see here, if I walk on this platform, the door will open. But once I go get off, uh, the door will close again. So what I can do is I can start the recording by right-clicking, jump on the platform with the key, right-click again, and my recording will stand into this trigger zone, keeping the door open for me. Here it's the same story. I need to get my recording on top of the key, and it will open. But I need to watch out. As you can see, the, the light is green, but if I switch again, my recording will fall down and the door will close again. Now the puzzles are getting more difficult. For example here I need to jump on top, but if I don't give myself enough time and I switch again to move past here, my recording will fall down. So what I need to do here is I need to time my actions. So I need to start recording already, wait a bit, move onwards onto the platform, switch dimension and get ready to move through the door. And now my, my recording jumped down. So timing is really key in this game. For this last puzzle, uh, we've made things really hard and challenging. Uh, so as you can see, this room is symmetrical. The key is on the left side and the door is on the right side. So what I need to do here is I need to synchronize my actions. So I need to start a recording, run to the key, and then at the exact same point I need to switch dimensions so I can do the exact same actions as my copy. Now we've reached the end of the game for now. And now the character realizes that this has been a training procedure and he's been made ready for production. This way we cured the solipsism of our robot character. I hope you enjoyed the demo of our project. Now I will continue with unique selling points about our game, really what makes our game innovating and stand out from the rest. Well, first of all the gameplay, you can record your actions and create an illusion by changing and manipulating the level. You can do this by switching the dimensions from 2D to 3D and levels can be rapidly designed and tested using a custom level editor which allows for user created content which I will show at the end of this presentation. Our game is also available in 11 different languages because we believe players all over the world need to be able to play our game should they want to even if they don't know English. So regarding the art, our artists experimented a lot with cold and hot contrasts. As you've seen from this mood board, they tried all kind of different shapes to give the right atmosphere and feeling to our game for the player. The gameplay is focused on platform jumping, dimension switching and recording of your actions. And before we've started creating this game, we've made a prototype where we experimented with the puzzles, we tested the gameplay mechanics to see if people understood them, we did user testing to see if everything was logical and fun for the player. The challenges and opportunities we've had for this game is we want to release the game on various platforms, we want to keep the game challenging and we want to add innovative gameplay features in future levels. We need to find the right balance between fun and difficulty to do this. So what's our master plan? Well, we want to increase replayability by adding achievements and unlockable content. We want to keep adding new levels. We want to add user-generated content, which we will keep track on forums using user feedback. And we want to get our project crowdfunded should it become popular by using Kickstarter. And then we will post updates on our development blog and our on, or on our project website. So what does level editor I've been talking about? Well, very simply, it's a tool I've created where you can just click and drag a block from the right which will be displayed on a 2D grid. This 2D grid can then be imported into Unity with a simple click of a button. This allows people who aren't programmers or 
art, uh, 3D artists to help build their own levels and basically to create their own version of our game or to add new levels to our game. Thank you for listening to my presentation. I hope you enjoyed it and if you have questions, feel free to ask them. Thank you.